Hi guys, it's me, a real knob. Uh, something bad happened today. Uh, as a lot of you may know, there was a there was a school shooting that was up. This is a this is gonna be a more serious video because you know it's not not something I really joke around about. Let me close this door. Um, there was a school shooting in just some weird rural state. I'm not sure which one it was. I want to say it was uh something like Connecticut or Kentucky or something, but uh. There's been a lot of people going around saying stuff like this man was pure evil and stuff, and that's this is just a video sharing my opinion on what happened exactly. Um, most of the Facebook posts that I've seen about this say stuff like uh, it was a really sad tragedy, and uh, honestly, it was. It's it's really really terrible that somebody decided to go into a school and shoot a bunch of small children just for shits and giggles or whatever. Whatever motive he had behind it, I don't know why somebody would do that, but he did, I guess, and it just happened, but, um, a lot of people have also been saying stuff like, the man is pure evil, he's a monster, blah, 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 and stuff like that, and I don't know if I can really agree with that, it, as terrible as it was, I, I understand that it was a terrible, terrible tragedy, it was something that shouldn't have happened, nobody deserves to just randomly die, just for no apparent reason in one random day, just get shot in the face by some crazy guy with a gun. It's a terrible thing that happened, but I can't agree with people when they say stuff like the man was a monster and stuff like that. Because in my opinion, he he wasn't. Like in my opinion, he was he was mentally ill. He was sick. He was obviously insane. He had some sort of mental problem that wasn't dealt with as a kid or dealt with as an adult in the past few months, whenever he might have been on drugs, something like that, but it's a lot more logical to say something like he was on drugs, or he was mentally ill, than to say he was evil, and I just don't like that saying, because in my opinion, I think it dehumanizes people, and it's just an excuse for people to say stuff like, well, this man is pure evil, so he's not human, he was just in a human shell, uh, he, he's not anything like me, he's not anything like me or you, he's not human, uh, he doesn't have any similarities to me in any sh way, shape, or form. His DNA is not the same. He's not human, which is not true. I mean, the guy was obviously a human being. He just didn't think the same as everybody else. He had a weird psychosis that caused him to go and shoot a bunch of children and his mom and his brother. So, I don't know. It's just a video saying that, I guess. I'm, I mean... My heart, my metaphorical heart is out there for all the kids that lost their lives, all the families that are going through the grieving process, as much as I don't like that word, because it sounds like a mix between gravy and general grievous, but, yeah, like, I'm, I'm seriously, I'll, I'll, I'm, f I'm for cereal right now, all the people that have lost their lives today, it, it's not... It's not a good thing that happened. I mean, people lose their lives every day. Everybody's got to realize that. But in special situations like this, when a bunch of people die in one time or in a really short time period, all at the same place, it just makes it extremely sad. It makes it people realize the fact that more people are dying uh, than people just than people realize that a lot of people are just dying on a day-to-day -day basis. So I guess I'm just saying I'm sorry for everybody that lost somebody today, and I, I don't even want to make this video, like, it's just too much to deal with, I, I really don't want to make this video, I put a Facebook post out, out there too about it, but, yeah, I don't want to make this video because how sad it is, I don't want to have to talk about this, but I was talking with my friends on Xbox Live, and I was just like, I'm just gonna do this just to get a video out there, just to tell everybody my opinion on the story and everything, and before a sh shitstorm in the comments starts up, I just want to say I'm not defending this guy. I'm not saying that he shouldn't have died or whatever for his crimes. I mean, he committed suicide. He shot himself in the face and, you know, took a took a smart way out, I guess you would call it. But I'm not defending him. I'm not saying that what he did was right. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm just saying that I, I guess he thought differently because of his mental state. So... He wasn't right or wrong to do something like that because he most likely didn't know the right from wrong when he did it. That's what uh, my logic is on it. That's what a few people I know's logic is on it. And I'm um, just here to say I'm sorry. I'm with you for all the families that lost. If anybody's really watching this video, um, don't even bother commenting or leaving likes on this video or anything. This isn't. I'll probably disable likes and stuff because it's not for that. It's just. It's just a video to give my opinion on it, so 
once again, I'm really sorry for all the families that lost somebody today. Um, pretty much, actually. I should say I'm just sorry for families that lost anybody in general, because it sucks ass to lose people in your family. But, anyway, I'm The Real Knob. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll have a happier video up for you next week. So, thumbs up, whatever that means after this weird-ass video. I'll see you guys later. Turn the camera around. No farts for you guys today. Me. Nah, I almost just dropped it. Hell, look at TV.